Hello and thank you for visiting PoolHallBusinessPlan.com. My name is Brad Turner. Uh, this short presentation is meant to give you insight into what you can expect from my latest ebook, Managing Your Bar for Success. Uh, so why do you need this book? Well, you know, if you've run the numbers on your business plan, uh, you've probably realized it's no big surprise that alcohol is going to be the biggest source of revenue in your new business. It's very regulated and it's obviously a risky part of the business as well. Uh, your bartenders, wait staff, are going to make or break your business. So you have to understand a little bit of how to control, manage, uh, and support these folks. And for the novice owner, it could save you hundreds or thousands of dollars in operational and potential legal costs. And I guarantee it will add three to five years of experience overnight. Bottom line, it's all about giving you the knowledge you need to plan and manage this key aspect of your operation. So there's six, session, six sections that we work on, excuse me, uh, human resources, beverage control, bartender theft, managing bartenders and servers, potpourri, uh, which is a catch-all for a, a bunch of uh, components of the business that didn't fit into any other section, and then we talk about club promotions. So human resources, right? And this is all about finding people that want to work for you that can uh, execute your vision for your business properly and consistently. The way to do that is to have detailed job descriptions, a thorough uh, application, how to conduct interviews is key so that you can identify these folks well before you hire them so you don't waste time. Uh, and a key part of that is the uh, entry level bartender and server test. So all of this is provided for you in the book. We also talk about having policies and procedures. These are crucial to making sure everything runs smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. That way, your managers, your servers, your bartenders, your busboys, everybody involved in your business understands what the policies are and uh, what's expected of them. Some of those include the general policy, tip and credit and tip reporting, What? how do we handle it? intoxicated persons, what's the drug and alcohol policy, what's our 90-day pro probation policy, uh, a great way to uh, work people out of the business if it turns out you know uh, they did slip through the, uh, the interview process. We also talk about the laws you need to know, such as you know uh, sexual discrimination laws, age bias laws, that sort of thing, things you probably haven't thought about until you actually uh, get started and uh, start bringing people into the business. What's a good trading program? What's worked for other uh, pool hall uh, owners in the past and how can you learn from that? How can you keep good employees? How do you motivate them and, and, and drive them to, uh, to always deliver? Uh, we talk about how to create a, a performance policy and a performance evaluation form. When you need to terminate, what's the right way to do it? And we provided forms and action plans to help you do that properly so that you leave on good terms with that employee and you reduce the uh, incentive for these folks to, uh, to sue you for wrongful dis dismissal. Simple grievance policy. You know, what happens if, a, if an employee is, is, has a grievance with managers? You know, what's the policy and what's the procedure for them to voice their concerns? And then finally, we talk about what bartenders typically don't like about bar managers. And we do this so that you as the owner can understand their position and maybe prevent some of those uh, issues arising before they uh, before they start. Around beverage control, we spend a lot of time on controlling uh, bottled beer, relatively easy. Uh, we talk also about how you can control draft beer and house wine by the glass and of course uh, uh, liquor. So what are your steps to controlling your alcohol, both mainly to, uh, to maintain your porridge cost percentage and make this a very profitable area. Without proper controls on your alcohol inventory, you will lose money, and uh, that's going to uh, put a big uh, uh, hit in your operational uh, uh, costs and will have a, a very detrimental effect on your uh, cash run rate business. Uh, finally, we it is as part of this, we include all the forms that you need to control, properly control and manage uh, your inventory from waste sheets to usage cost formulas to uh, beginning and ending inventory uh, sheets as well as uh, what you need to do or the uh, how to make a monthly sales analysis. 
Bartender theft of managing bartenders and servers, a key area. Understand how bartenders steal will give you an idea of what policies you have to put in place and how to identify this, unfortunately, very, you know, uh, sad part of the business. Uh, how to manage the bartenders and how to manage the servers. So what do you expect from them in terms of how they serve beer? What drinks should they be able to make and how do you want them made? What are their opening closing procedures and what is expected of them on a daily basis, right? And then we include a uh, sample uh, daily checklist for, that you can use to uh, embellish for your own business. Same with the servers, right? How do you want them to take orders? How do you want them to place orders with your bartenders? How do you expect them to serve uh, the drinks to customers and collect money for it? Okay. And again, for them, what are their uh, daily uh, arrival and closing procedures? Again, having all this, thinking about this will help you understand this key aspect of your business, put in policies uh, that uh, make the business run smooth, and as you're looking to open your business, will give you a sense of the type of people you're looking for, and more importantly, allow you to talk to investors, bankers, uh, and landlords about how you're going to manage this very important part of your business. The pot pourri, like I said, is a sort of a catch-all for, for certain aspects that didn't fit it neatly into other sections. So what are the legal aspects of beverage management? How do you price your drinks? How do you get your a handle on your labor costs and scheduling? What happens when sales are sloping? What are the easiest, quickest, proven ways to increase sales? How do we set an environment and policies in place that eliminate the opportunity for fights? What's the policy for checking ID? Uh, how does alcohol work in the body so that you understand uh, and you can train your staff to understand how to serve and how to back off? How do we treat intoxicated customers? Again, that all comes down to uh, techniques as well as having written policies in place. And then we talk a little bit more about pre-pour versus shark glass. You're always going to have this debate with your uh, bartenders about speed with free pour versus uh, management that wants to control cost through, you know, uh, measured pours, i.e. Uh, shot glass or positive pour system. And we weigh in on that uh, debate as well. Finally, we wrap everything up uh, around promotions. So we're not going to talk specifically about what types of promo promotions to run, but give you an operational foundation and approach to uh, promotions so that they're budgeted properly, you uh, understand who is doing what with regards to sponsorship, running the promotion, what needs to happen before the promotion even starts. And that doesn't even fit the theme or the uh, type of customer you're looking to attract in your pool hall. And then finally, we wrap it up with a promotional planner and checklist so that uh, you have a very clear path to making this promotion a big success. So that's it. Uh, hopefully uh, that's given you a good understanding of what you can expect uh, from the, my new book. If, of course, if you have any questions, you could go to poolhallbusinessplan.com and uh, contact us through that. We answer every email and be happy to field any questions that you might have. Thanks again and all the best in your success.